Keep you throwing that at the bar. Yeah. I want to give Carlos another round of applause for me. Yeah! And please be just as gracious as I introduce my co-host. Someone keeps texting the Basic City account as my big boil that was on my neck about a week ago. That's funny. All right, uh, please help me introduce my co-host. There's a problem in Lego City, y'all. It's Monty Giles. <laughs> One more time with Tyler Bauer, everyone. Yeah. Okay, what's up, Basic City? Make some noise, everyone. How's everyone feeling out there? Hell yeah. We're just gonna get straight down to the business. We have like 13, 14 comics tonight. Make some noise if you've been here before. Make some noise if you're at the three-year anniversary of the show last week. Yeah. Make some noise if you had some fun at the three-year anniversary show last week. This week is a bye week. If this is your first, who's who's here for the first time? Woo! Okay, sorry. Like this is this is. This no, should, it's gonna be great. Don't listen to him. This should have been our bye week. Uh, I'm tired. My leg hurts. Tyler said something very mean and hurtful to me earlier. I said you look stupid. <laughs> I said you look really stupid. Think about how stupid you look. Imagine the most stupid thing you could imagine, and then you're worse. Damn. I don't know why I said that, guys. I was a little hungry. I ate some pizza. I'm feeling better. Some some uh, some pizza from Maury's Kitchen, everyone. Make some noise for that. <laughs> All right, who's never been here before? <laughs> What's your who? Wait, wow, that's a lot of woos. You? You've never been here before? You've never been here before? No. All I, of y'all. None of y'all been here before. No, I I didn't know we were hooting for. I just it <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. What's your name? Everyone say hi, Liam. Hey, Liam. Hi. Liam, if everyone in here walked off a bridge, would you do it too? If there was hooting. <laughs> if there was what? If there was hooting involved. Hooting? Is, is that your thing? I just said it's fun to do. Uh, can you not look up or down? Are you like an owl? <laughs> <laughs> I can see my head around, but I won't do it. Uh, do you not make any noise when you fly? <laughs> do rich people dress up in robes and burn an effigy of you to... <laughs> Do you estimate licks to get to the center of candy? <laughs> oh! Uh, there you I go. frequently challenge children. Uh, <laughs> you frequently, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's so uh, you've never been here before, this is your first time? What's your name? Ellie. Everyone say hi, Ellie. Hi, hi, hi Ellie. Hi. Uh, also, comment from the crowd, the energy in this room feels like a blind date that's going poorly. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right, but now when we talk to Ellie, Ellie, how'd you find out about the show? A uh, Liam did? Fuck. A little <laughs> owl told her. <laughs> a little, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, Ellie's the who's who of people coming to basic. <laughs> Thank you so much. What's your name? Uh, Jesse. Everyone say hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Are you part of the Liam crew, too? Uh, more for Gene, I guess. <laughs> who's Gene? Hell yeah, Gene, please, thank you so much. Hi, Gene. Okay, hi, Gene. What's up, Gene? Bring Gene in the house. No, Fuck yeah. I wrote that song about him. Gene, I'm assuming you're the leader? Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Well, tell him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Put him in his place. I feel like he wears collars. He should be wearing one right now. Everyone wears collars. <laughs> no, but I meant like... Like dog collars? Yeah, like dog collars, exactly. Exactly. Well, welcome, guys. Uh, we're in a commercial open mic. Me and my co-host Tyler Bauer. We have two microphones. We have a soundboard. We oh, play. Bomb, no. We play sounds. Oh, bomb, no. Yes, we do. Don't do Marco, Marco. That's. I the... have a green. <laughs> all right. That was like that was a whole linear story. That team. was all the famous black people. <laughs> <laughs> That's all three famous black people. If I had to choose, from Jesus to Kendrick Lamar. You said the same words. <laughs> As a white man, I love Kendrick Lamar. Spell Kendrick Lamar right now. Uh, <laughs> good kid, Mad City. <laughs> That's cool. All right, oh, wait, sorry, no, I got a funnier one. J E S U S. That's how you spell Kendrick Lamar. Are you trying to figure out what I spelled? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So we're cut that. Uh, all of this 
a live recorded show. Make us some noise for our cameraman Silver, everyone. Yay! I'm a city boy, but we have some energy tonight. We have a bunch of comics coming up here to do five minutes. We're gonna fuck with them. They're gonna sit down, they get to have with the next comic, blah 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 blah. Ellie, Liam, Gene, as audience members, you get to participate in the show. If you follow Basic City Comedy on Instagram, send us some DMs. We will read them live and direct. If you want to talk about a comic, if you want to talk about the show, Ellie, if you want to text us and let us know how you're sick of Liam's shit, you can do that. <laughs> we will solve this group dynamic by the end of this shit. All right, I don't really have anything else. Tell you have anything else? No, I'm good, bro. All right, are you ready to start the show? Woo! Are you ready to start the show? Can I get a hell yeah? yeah. On the count of three, can I get one big fuck you, Monty? One, two, three! Fuck you, Monty! And one for my beautiful best friend, my neck boil of a boy. Get fuck you, Tyler, on three. One, two, three! Fuck you, Tyler! Let's get this show started with the first comic coming to the stage. He said he wanted to go on early. I said, I'll do you one better. You're starting this bitch off. He's 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 in his rebirth era. He's rebranding. He's 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 saved by Christ and he's coming here to evangelize. Please give it up for your first comic of the night. The very funny Brian Fontaine! Give it up for uh, Monty and Tyler. Um, if you guys haven't been here before, they, they, they're actually like some of the meanest meanest uh, bullies in the in the comedy scene. Danger! You better tread lightly, fuckface. The, no, they bullied me. They said, they said, Brian, we don't think you've had sex before. <laughs> we think you're a virgin. And I'm like, no, no, I've had sex. They're like, oh yeah, prove it. Pull it out. <laughs> Can I smell your dick? I said, what, my dick? They said, no, 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 because you could be beaten off feverishly. That wouldn't prove anything. Pull out your ass cheeks. Show me that pristine, mint condition boy hymen. Oh. And they don't have no more for that anymore. <laughs> this is exactly how it happened. I cried. Uh, I feel like I'm watching Surviving Diddy. <laughs> Surviving Basic City. Guys, I, I, uh... Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. <laughs> Guys, I stopped, uh, drinking. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm like um, an endearing awe, not like a we're sad about it. You were out of control. There's very, like, a uh, good things about it, but I'm starting to notice some bad, uh, some negative effects. Um, for example, when I'm having sex and uh, I, I can't uh, stay hard, I, I say uh, my new excuse is that I have fentanyl dick. <laughs> That's what it sounds like when you come on fentanyl. <laughs> I just figured she won't, uh... You ever see an old man, uh, uh moaning at a 7-Eleven? It's because he's on fentanyl and he's coming. Sure, I'll check right, him, uh, Sounds like you need Narcan pussy. <laughs> That's what Narcan pussy sounds like. If you ever go to the health clinic and you see someone just, just, just opening their legs and you hear... <laughs> that pussy saves lives. Does anybody remember, uh, the song freak leak by Petey Pablo? I like it, Daddy. I like it, Daddy. Nobody does, or... Take off your shirt and spin it around like a helicopter! Shut the fuck up, idiot. <laughs> That's another Petey Pablo reference. That's my dad. <laughs> Seriously, if nobody knows the fucking song, I can't do the joke. Uh, but... Okay. <laughs> So in the song, I oh, okay, wait, wait, one sorry. second, one second. I just love how you had to specify like a helicopter. Like he was like, no, not like a windmill. I mean, it needs to be like a like what is, what is someone feeding you food? <laughs> Do you know that song? No, Peter North Carolina, come on and raise up, take your shirt off, twist no. your ass. 
No. no. <laughs> Not a Petey Pablo crowd. Awesome. Guys, I'm tired of being slut shamed. Oh. A lot of the uh, uh, dog owners in Richmond won't let me anywhere near their dog based on uh, how I'm dressed. Comment from the crowd, the set is as painful as trying to piss while on fentanyl. How I'm dressed, by the way, is butt naked with my dick and balls covered in peanut butter. Uh, comment from the crowd. A couple just stopped at the doorway, heard Fontaine say boy hymen, and decided to stay. Shouts out to that couple. Thank Shouts you. out to that couple. I hope they live forever. Boy, Your I'm... love will conquer all. She's not cheating. That was just a weird text. One minute remaining. In the song Freak a Leak by uh, Petey Pablo, <laughs> it, it starts up, it's like a call in, like radio show. <laughs> this one hey, y'all, want to hear that new Petey Pablo? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It's weird because it's a dude who's like, that's such a horny song. Like, right, right. That's, it's that's like that's what's been geeking me out all day because I'm like picturing a guy like at home, like trying to beat off. To the freak of <laughs> He's like, hey man, I wanna hear that new Petey Pablo. <laughs> I think it's a good joke. These people just don't understand. I you, mean, you would have to, you would have to get that joke. Not a freak of league uh, crowd. Or no, that song, yeah. No freaks. Anybody? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> uh, What's more, a quick more one? like Sleepy Pablo. What's a fucking quick one? Uh, what about uh, pussy juice soluble condoms? What about them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, the, the, the pussy juice is up. It, it, it means uh, she likes it, you know? Uh, <laughs> this way, this way, no, I'm saying this way we both get what we want, you know? No, and, and no harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. This is a weird way to talk about sex, brother. You know, we both get what we want, no harm, no foul. Have sex with me, I will not harm you! <laughs> I mean no harm! Uh, uh, Let me stick my dick in you, there will be no foul! <laughs> and, uh, I have an umpire standing by. By the end of me coming, you will still be breathing! <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> No harm, no foul. Okay. I won't let you share your location. <laughs> you can keep your phone. Plug it in. Uh, <laughs> uh, no harm, no foul, except for the abortion. You can Bye. use your hand. <laughs> you know what? Just masturbate. I'll be in the closet. It's fine. You're totally safe. You see how the show's gonna go? Cool. You, we're doing to do that for 90 minutes. Are you ready for that? How would you? What do you think about Brian Fontaine? Okay. Good. Sick. Liar. Gene. I'll talk to your leader, Gene. Yeah. What, what do you think of Brian Fontaine? I don't think I could say polycule. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. You, say you wouldn't welcome him into your polycule? No. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. That bitch. I'm, I'm bench. not a virgin, by the way. I don't think I made that clear. <laughs> 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 One more time for Brian Fontaine, everyone. Woo! Holy shit. Woo! I can tell what kind of time we're on. Keep sending those comments, everyone. You know his comment coming to the stage? He was supposed to be on the three-year anniversary show last week, but he texted me and said, I think I'm going to take a nap. So, I'm so happy he's here now. Uh, he's a fan favorite. You're going to love him. If you haven't seen him, please give it up for Mike Moore. <laughs> Mike Marr. <laughs> uh, Mike Marr, <laughs> are you excited about uh, Kamala Harris uh, running for president? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Who are you gonna vote for? Obama. 
I would, I would, um, I, would, I think I would have put, uh, picked Booty Pig. Booty Pig? Booty Pig. Now when you call him a homophobic name that people use, that's no, just what your wife wants to do. <laughs> he called, he called my Buttigieg, or Pete Buttigieg, Booty Pig. <laughs> Booty Pig. That's fire. I, I mean, I, I, you should you should get that. You should trademark that. <laughs> Pete Booty Peg. <laughs> booty Peg. What is this? Mike Morris is a child. He's in. <laughs> That's a Ow. Uh, Hey, did you know that Biden was in uh, politics before Nixon was in office? Whoa. <laughs> That's true. And you voted know, for both of them. <laughs> <laughs> He's been in politics since the 1950s. Wow. Biden. Trump's been in politics, what, two weeks? <laughs> oh, I missed. One more time. <laughs> One more time for Mike Marr, everyone. All right, all right. Uh, the next comic came on the stage. Uh, this is his first time performing in Big City. He's been doing comedy all around the city. He told me he wanted to prepare before he came to the show, so let's see if he did. And let's be mean to him. Please give it up for Dave Greek. Dave Greek. All right. Give it up for my father over here. Yeah. Behave yourself now, son. You look, you're, you look like me from the future. Come back to warn me about this. <laughs> How are we doing, everybody? Basic City, we good? Uh, real talk, I've had no air conditioning for the last week and a half, and uh, it's still broken. I work from home, and so uh, my plan for the rest of this week is to get fired. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get fired. Are you a cam girl? Uh, <laughs> I am, yes. Yes, that's why I got fired. It's hot boys summer. Too hot, too hot. So uh, to distract myself, I wrote some jokes that have nothing to do with air conditioning. So here we go. You like the news? News jokes? Are you ready? Got a couple of people with the glasses read the news. Too much news. All right, let's do it. So uh, as mentioned before, Biden dropped out of the race, right? Biden dropped out. And then Sunday night, just Sunday night, the Democrats raised like $50 million. And uh, 50 million, that's how much it's gonna cost to fix my air conditioner, am I right? <laughs> All right? Thank you, thank you. Oh man, this political climate is hot. It's uh, spicy in here, let me tell you. So uh, let's see what else happened. Donald Trump was almost assassinated, and uh, this week, the head of the Secret Service had to go in front of Congress, you know. They Wait, were... wasn't it your son the one who did it? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I miss, I'll miss my boy. Uh, comment, from the, <laughs> comment from the crowd. He's chicken little, all grown up. <laughs> you know, if I get some good roast jokes out of this, I'm going to keep them and like put them in my act. This is like a writing session. That was a roost joke. It was a roost. A roost. What was I talking about? Secret uh, Service. The head of the Secret Service had to go in front of Congress and, uh, and kind of own up to what happened with uh, Donald Trump. And uh, let me tell you, I know a thing or two about the hot seat. The hot seat, that's any chair in my house right now. I got no air conditioning. You know what I'm about? Hey, man, those are cool jokes, man. Thank cool. you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, yeah, you get through the set, you get through the set like a breeze. Hot seat. Cool. What, uh, what temperature do you normally set your AC at when it's warm? Uh, 69 degrees, am I right? Oh, let's keep going. Let's keep All right, let's move on to... Let's move on to entertainment. I mean, you look like the type of person who like complains about like it being too cold all the time. Yeah. Yes. Like, I have no meat. I got no meat. I feel That's like right. you're in a library just like shivering. That's right. We don't all look like a life-size Joe Rogan. All right. You got meat on your bones, baby. You've been working out. Oh, racist. <laughs> Dave looks like he's gonna convince me to listen to Switchfoot. <laughs> Swiss poet. We do some great you look like you look like uh, a mother's milk's uh, boyfriend. <laughs> who's the in the boys? The dude, the dude who's racist who like Homelander who's mother's Mom. milk's. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh my. What? I'm not keeping that joke for my act. That's not. I'm not keeping that one. You look like a nerd. That's pretty much. Thank right. you. Thank you. I got it. It's the glasses. All right, glasses people. We got to stick together. All right. Solidarity. Thank you. Thank you. So entertainment news. There's some big, uh, big acts coming to Richmond uh, this year. There's, a, there's an old boy band from the 90s called 98 Degrees. They're gonna be performing in Richmond and uh, at my house, because it's 98 degrees in there, am I right? Yes. <laughs> wow, this, set, this set's really heating up. He's you know, a meat stretcher. You know, meat stretcher meat. <laughs> you know who else is coming to town is uh, Megan Thee Stallion. Meg Thee Stallion? I'm not gonna compare. I'm you not gonna. Megan Thee Stallion. Megan, Megan. I know Megan. 
Uh, I'm not gonna compare Meg to my house, although my house is hot as fuck. Am I right? It's hot as fuck, everybody, in my house. Comment on air conditioning. Comment from the crowd. Dave looks like he would have run a popular web comic in 2008. That's it. You look like the substitute teacher who always fucks up black kids' names. <laughs> Doesn't everybody fuck up? All right, that's it. Dave, come on now. Racist. I can do that. What else we got? One minute remaining. There is air conditioning in here. I want to thank Basic City. Give it up for the air conditioning. Air conditioning. <laughs> My favorite part of coming to a brewery like this is when you're, when you're, when you're playing the giant Jenga and then the, uh, the wood falls down and crushes a child. That's my favorite part. That's the thing that I love. But let's give it up for these guys. They've been doing this three years now. Three years. And, uh, and one week. I try, to get, uh, I try to get my friends to come out to the show and I describe it to them. I'm like, this guy's on stage and they, they shit on the comic that's performing. And they're like, you mean like Kill Tony? Is it Kill Tony? I'm like, no, it's not Kill Tony. They got sound effects. They have sound effects that happen. And they're like, you mean like it's like a morning radio show? And I'm like, it kind of it kind of is. So I feel like... And I then wanna... they're like, dude, we're just coworkers. We're not actually friends. <laughs> so I feel like... In Richmond, dude, you're my manager. Please chill out. <laughs> I feel like... You could be a morning show, though. Like 106.5, the beat. Today's hip hop and R&B. It's Douchebag and the Gooch in the morning. We got it. Do hey, what about the Yes Pops? What do you have on Yes Pops? Do you have a hip hop siren? I was going to say, this is Opie and Anthony now. Do you feel old yet? <laughs> the fact that you know who Opie and Anthony is means you're old. <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. All right, well, that's all I want to say. Thank you, guys. You guys did a great job uh, doing this for three years. I appreciate you all. Have a good one. Everyone, if you want to see more of him, he will be uh, encrypting your iPhones in the lobby after the show. Uh, your next time I come to the stage, she said she didn't know she was going to come out tonight, but we convinced her. So please give a very big hand for the very funny Grace Boyer! <laughs> I don't want to brag, but um, my AC was also broken this week. Solidarity. Yeah, I had to sleep with my neighbor like all weekend because of it. <laughs> um, what a weird thing to say without any context. <laughs> Uh, no, I feel like that's... Some people borrow a couple of sugar from their neighbors. Is your yeah. neighbor a Michael and Sons employee? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's all the context you need. You know, the AC is broken. Am I going to sleep in an 80 degree room? Or am I going to sleep with... Uh, your neighbor. My neighbor. Right. I thought it was a no-brainer. You guys are making me feel bad. <laughs> um, anyways... Uh, I recently was, uh, falsely accused. <laughs> what devil? <laughs> no, no, I was, I was falsely accused of making false accusations. But, like, the dumbest part of it was, like, the accusations were just of, like, a man saying some creepy stuff to me. And it's like... Like, hey, my AC's out, can I spend the night at your house? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but I was just like, I was just like, don't you think that if I were a pathological liar and I was trying to, like, make something up to destroy a man's character, I would just go straight to rape? Yeah. Nobody? I I didn't want to that reaction. Uh, Silver, so cut that. <laughs> is that your neighbor in the back? <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> that guy woke up today and he was like, I think I'm going to scream rape enthusiastically. Let's just let's see how it plays out. I love the vibe in here. Kale told me that joke was funny. He laughed in the back and then didn't laugh when I said it on stage. It was the delivery. It was the It's. It was. Friendly fire. Yeah. It's fine. But you know what I mean. It's just like if I if I I would go balls to the walls with that. Anyways. Um. 
that's that. Um, Thank you for telling us your, <laughs> how you falsely incriminate someone. <laughs> that's a, if I would ever ruin someone's life with a false accusation, it would be, you know. <laughs> and, <laughs> Wait, no, wrong button. <laughs> no, and it's really fucked up though, is because sometimes I do like smoke a lot of weed and then I get really paranoid because I'm like, oh my god, wait, I just said that on stage. So now if someone does want to rape me, they have video of me saying that it would be a lie. Guys, I would never falsely accuse anyone. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I love when I'm like, I'm in a weird mood today. I don't know if I want to come to Basic City. And then I do and I'm like, this is cool. Uh, I hate like a young. <laughs> Actually, I, I did get hit on by a little boy recently. <laughs> yeah, my my friend and I were out at dinner and... <laughs> it was Dave Group with shoes on his knees. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a kid's menu, please. <laughs> Anyways, he, he, <laughs> this little boy came up and he asked us if we were on a date and um, she said yeah and he was like, are you boyfriend, girlfriend? And she was like, no, we're girlfriend, girlfriend. And he said, oh, okay, maybe I can slide in there later. <laughs> cool kid. <laughs> recently uh one of my co-workers found out i was gay and she said i'm not gay no more i am the nerd i don't like this no more she said you like bumping coochies and i don't even have a joke to make about that because nothing is funnier than just asking your co-worker that that's my favorite band Bumpin' Coochies? Yeah, it's Flogging hey, Molly and Bumpin' Coochies. Scott, <laughs> also an Irish band. <laughs> okay, uh, you look like a sad little claymation boy. And I hate your hair. Breaking bass, motherfucker. You two are having a tight pants competition. Hell yeah. Can't I'm basketball winning. shorts. Who's winning? I, it's, Those are the loosest shorts. No, I was saying them two. Oh, okay. And Wait, Chris, who's winning? Um, uh, I have to say that he's winning because the rips in your jeans are so aggressive that from the side I thought you were wearing jorts. Fuck. Yeah. Um, and it's crazy that it's like y'all's jeans are so tight and so silly that like I'm not even making fun of Tyler's basketball shorts. <laughs> he looks cool right now. Thank you. Whatever, dude. Your roses on your fishnets look cheaply made. Well, I made them myself. And I think your neighbor wants his bed to himself. I think, I think your neighbor has been breaking your air conditioning unit. I think that's what's happening. Probably. Yeah, uh, I think I'm done now. Take a long time, you know, and it's like women kind of take a long time to get ready, you know what I mean? So 
She uses phrases. She uses phrases like. Uh, she uses phrases to like make it seem like she's not taking as long of a time. Um, oh yeah. And so when I'll be like, uh, are you gonna, like if we're about to go somewhere, I'll be like, are you gonna shower before we leave? And she's like, I'm just gonna wash my body. I'm like, so yes. You're gonna do that thing where you clean 90% of yourself? Okay. What's the other 10%? Her hair? Her hair? Oh. <laughs> All right. That would be 10% of your body, that is true. The other day I got home and uh, my dog was really excited to see me and I walked in the door and said, hey buddy, what'd you do today? And he was like, <laughs> I was like, damn it, dude, you still can't talk? <laughs> I guess eyelash wishes don't come true. All right. We're that, done. that was a silly one. <laughs> I liked how silly that was. Thank you. I was like, but dogs can never talk. <laughs> Who would think such a silly thing? Um, Other than my good buddy, Zach Carpenter. <laughs> Your air buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm looking for a job right now in, uh, in the job marketplace. In the job marketplace, they always ask you to set yourself aside. Uh, what makes you unique from uh, the competition, Zach? You know, what, what makes you unique? And that's when I lean in real close. I look him dead in the eyes and I go, I know almost all the words to Rockstar by Nickelback. <laughs> Comment from the crowd. The Columbine shirt and hospital wristband is an omen. <laughs> yeah, oh, I was gonna get into that, actually. Um, I guess, yeah, I'm kind of, a, I'm just, I, I guess I'll get in. I'm an unstable guy, you know, I'm just, I, uh, I'm kind of like a dog you can't leave home alone, you know, except you can't leave me home alone. Because if you leave me home alone for too long and you come back, all the bottles will be empty, there'll be a belt around my neck and a ceiling fan on my chest. Oh. Coming from the crowd, little bro looks like a dog that became a real boy. <laughs> Coming from the crowd, Zach looks like he should get lost while trekking across the Yukon. Alright. I guess. It's a long way to say, get lost. <laughs> I, um... Yeah, I, 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 you can see the hospital wristband. I, I recently did a, a stint in the uh, psych ward for a little bit and some rehab time, you know, I'm trying to clean up my act. You have, they ask you, you have a boo-boo? <laughs> yeah, in my brain. Um, they, ask you, they ask you a series of questions when you get in there, and they're like, do you want to harm yourself or others? And it's like, no, I'm here because I'm looking for an easy cleanup way to stay alive. All right. Oh. I thought that was going to hit. Zach, uh, you know what would have made that... True. You know what would have made that, uh, that, that, that better? What? A joke. <laughs> Listen, they ask you if you've ever... They ask you if you've ever paid for sex or been paid to have sex in there. Uh-huh. And, um... I was thinking about it, I was like, no, I haven't ever been paid to have sex, but I have, I remember in college there was a couple times where, yeah, um, I did fuck a couple ugly girls for some cookout trays. Wow. <laughs> so I guess I've never been paid to have sex, but I have, uh, uh, had a, I have eaten a couple bad boxes for a couple of good trays, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Okay. I really There's thought that if you went to rehab, you would stop saying things like that. <laughs> hey, look, I stopped doing drugs. <laughs> look, I stopped. Remember, remember that show, G's to Gents, that was on MTV, too? No. Okay. Well, there goes that. Listen, Grace, I stopped doing drugs. I didn't stop being an asshole. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Uh, uh, do you remember me. one time you asked me for hard drugs? Nothing specific, just hard drugs. Probably. No, I don't remember that. I remember that one time you said, Monty, you're so cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Comment from the crowd, James Gunn if he only made porn. <laughs> Here's the deal. <laughs> I tried to, uh... I was trying to, uh, I was trying to uh, eliminate myself with booze and cocaine. Listen, it sounds like a party. I was trying to. It sounds like a good time. I was time. trying to eliminate myself. It sounds like a good time. I, it's, it, what a man averse way to say that you're depressed. This is, dude, I was trying to tactically take myself out. <laughs> I was trying to kill myself with booze and cocaine. And here's the deal. It's like doing that is like going to an amusement park. You know, it's like 
it's like fun on the rides and stuff. But after a while, after enough lines, you're like, what the fuck is taking so long? I get the fast pass. That's a, a fast pass is a nine millimeter. All right. Hey, hey, Zach, you know yes. that one better? Uh, how about less sad stuff? Maybe, do you know how to juggle? I do know how to juggle. What do you say? That would be cool. Y'all have, does anyone have anything for juggle? You're in a box. How about that? You're in a box. Yeah, juggle. Here, go ahead. All right. What else? All right. With this three things? Yes. Right, I can try. That card we're gonna juggle in. Gonna be tough, he said. He'll find something else, he said. Alright. Oh! Yeah! Wow! Much like his material, almost good enough. Alright, thank you. I've been to that carpenter. <laughs> He can juggle in real life, but he can't juggle substances. Come on now. <laughs> Guys, I think we're firing on all cylinders. How do y'all feel? How do y'all feel out there? <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, uh, your next comic coming to the stage, he is, he is a very interesting man. Every time he comes here, I just try so hard to understand his fucking life. But he's, he's a joy, a treat to have. Please give it up for Joe Skates. Smoke it, I pour it, oh, keep that lean up in my core, on my part, I love the award, on my own, you probably broke, everybody wanna bow, I let Ross at the ball, if he won't. How's it going, everyone? Yeah, my, my life isn't that interesting. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> uh, how, how do we think that second debate is going to go now? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, Paul Kobe. Your sworn nemesis. I don't know about that. Trump supporter. To me, that sounds about right. I mean, we know he said the N word, so. Hell yeah, brother. Kid <laughs> uh, Rock. Another Trump supporter has declared, if you fuck with Trump, you're fucking with him. Oh, baby. Yeah, because I'm like, has he ever had any street cred? So it's like, fuck him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you ever had street cred, Joe? <laughs> no. no. They, call, they call it Joe Adult Stone. No, I, I try to stay. Like Kid Rock. I don't know. I try to stay in the shadows. Uh, yeah, I try to stay in the shadows. Okay, Joe. You're wearing a leather vest, but you try to stay in the shadows. No. Well, no, he was talking about, like, street crew. Why do you only have, like, three things in your bag? Why do you, this is, what, a gun holster? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, and then a piece of mail. Uh, Joe Skates addresses 202. <laughs> 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 uh, a piece of mail that's not yours. That's against the law, brother. I don't know about that. And, I, a, I and, a, and a water bottle that has not been opened yet, but it's so wet and cold. Yeah, I froze <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Let's see. Back to the jokes, I suppose. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, like. Mm. <laughs> yes. Congratulations, you guys made thank it through here. Oh, thank wow. You. Thank you. Thank we already you. did that show. Yeah, I'm just saying, but like, how good was the party? Like, nobody got locked up or nothing. Uh, yeah. No. It's because you weren't there, Joe. <laughs> no, I try to stay out of trouble. Because this is the thing. Yeah, you, you Joe, skate above the law. I can't I can't get a bank job because of, you know. Was like, that your dream as a child to get a bank job? No, but you know, they paid nice, but, like, fuck it, we, we're we about to elect a felon. A what? A felon. A felon. A f oh, you think Trump's yeah, going to win? Yeah, Bill's palsy. Oh, yeah, I'm hearing you have Bill's palsy. Damn. So, <laughs> someone just texted the Basic City chat and said, or it's just a picture of the Avatar My Cabbages guy. 
<laughs> from the animated avatar. I don't get that. Uh, comment from the crowd. He looks like he runs the Hells Angels of Bicycles. <laughs> the Elvis Broad Street Bully. Uh, comment from the crowd. You know he doesn't play around about craft beer. Uh, he looks like he always offers to play touch football. Yeah, how do you feel about, uh, what's the young, how old are you, Joe? 52. Alright, wow, that's, why do you come here? Um, so, what's the youngest you would date? Jesus Christ. Uh, 40. 40? Yeah, because my oldest kid is 34, so. Uh, that's a good reasoning, I guess. <laughs> Back to you guys. You guys came to the show. So. Do you know you and my son can be in high school together? <laughs> you have a kid? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> his name is uh, his name is uh, Mike Surf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Joe Skates too. Because Joe Skates was already taken. <laughs> yeah, but. Skates isn't actually my last name. No, it's not. It's Yates. Ah, see? <laughs> I could have used without that one. That one. No. One minute remaining. Fucking tired of that button. <laughs> Sorry, I keep time at the open mic. My bad. You're right, Joe. We should just let people go 15 minutes. Well, I'm not saying that. Uh, so let me at least get one, I think. Okay. Brother, I would love for nothing more. Thank you. Uh, every, excuse me, ma'am, you familiar with the joke? Uh, no. Sir? I can't answer that word. No. Is the joke in the room with us right now? <laughs> uh, typically, serial killers have three first names. You've never heard that joke? Oh, well, I can't do the joke for you, but anyway, typically, serial killers have three first names John David Vance. Or J.B. Van. Is he doing Ben Stop show? Yes. Huh? Who's Joe? No, no, nothing. Did that joke? Please go ahead. No, go ahead. Fuck. Man, Now don't give up on yourself yet. Well, I mean, you just did somebody else. Maybe, maybe he didn't. Maybe this joke is so original. No, that was the joke right there. What? Just saying his three names? Yeah, he's potentially a serial killer. And on top of that, ma'am, I don't know. Well, he's dead, so. No, he's he's about to be possibly vice president. Who? J.D. Vance. Uh, who? Uh, <laughs> so, ma'am. Have you ever played Roller Coaster Tycoon? <laughs> no. Ma'am. I know you look like a good girl. You probably don't It's all in the eyes. He gives, he gives all, I beat a bitch energy. J.D. Vance. Yeah. Uh-huh. I guess I'm done. All right. Just gays, everyone. Just gays. Your bell's palsy. What, how's that going? Uh, other than my eye. And uh, in the microphone. In the microphone. Other than my eye, and if I get excited, my words slur. So. Okay. Th that's Great. good. He's surviving bell's palsy. Let him hear it one more time for Jeff Skates, everyone. <laughs> All right. Your next comic comes to the stage. Let's see if we can bring some energy back in this room. He's a very good friend of the show, a very funny comic. Please give it up for Gail Moore. <laughs> It's great to be here on stage with the cast of Love's Light Lies Bleeding. What? One person gets that reference. No, you fucked it up. Love Lies Bleeding. It's my favorite new metal band. I didn't fuck it up as much as Tyler, Tyler trying to say Tyler. Who's Tyler? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know a Tyler. 
I, guys, guys, I don't think that's a pre- that's a name. He's not acting churl. The the last three comics, there was a lot of talk about crimes against women, <laughs> and I'm trying to get things back on track here. I'm okay. trying to play cards against humanity. Yeah. Um. So I, I started a synchronicity diary. Does anyone know what those are? No. no. Yeah. So a synchronicity is when like a weird coincidence happens, like when you watch a movie about a lesbian romance, and then you come to the Basic City open mic. Uh, but yeah, I've, uh, I've started keeping a diary, uh, I've heard, that like helps your, uh, you, you know, pay attention to details, writing down all the coincidences in your life, and I feel like it's gonna end in one of two ways. Either I'm going to escape the Matrix, or I'm going to give myself paranoid schizophrenia. Those are bad options. Thank you. Why would you invest your time into something like that? Uh, because I kind of want to become one of those guys who like parks in Walmart and covers their van in like block letter uh, prayers from the Bible. I don't want that for you, Kale. I want you to be happy. Okay, you asked me to bring energy back into the room, and I feel like you're actively sabotaging me. <laughs> why do you think that? <laughs> you ever feel like, why, why are there so many of those schizophrenic uh, message van guys? <laughs> do you think the guy who came up with that first is pissed? When he saw the second one driving around and he was like, fuck! He goes out the next day and he puts a little copyright sticker up in the corner. Guys, how about this assassination attempt? No one else tonight has done a Donald Trump joke, so I'm allowed to. Sort of did. Yeah. Yeah, you sort of did. Who did? Joe. He was talking about J.D. Vance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. I don't know why I expect Monty to know anything about politics. Um, that hurts, brother. <laughs> anyway. I'm not... Why would you say me. that about me? I need you to work with me right now, Monty. <laughs> I need you to punch this up a little bit, all right? I got you going. Comment from the crowd, Carl Weasel, uh, Carl Weezer if he fucked. Yeah, who fucks up now, motherfucker? <laughs> it's contagious. Oh, how the tables have turned. Does anyone Tyler have ketamine Bauer. out there? <laughs> ketamine, ketamine. I don't think this room needs to be down any more than it already is. Uh, anyway, yeah, I, I'm not going to get into the weeds, uh, except for the fact that I think the whole assassination was fake. Um, I will say that if we have learned anything from history, it's that Suge Knight is behind this. And I'm glad that he finally dangled Joe Biden off of a balcony until he agreed to drop out of the race. Yeah, speaking of political crises, um, the alt-right, does anybody remember a couple months ago when the alt-right was using Sidney Sweeney as, like, a tool? They, t they saw a picture of her in a low-cut dress at an award show, and they were like, Take that, liberals! <laughs> One minute remaining. Do they think liberals don't like big tits? <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, every time I see some big old floppers, I'm like, get that out of here. <laughs> Put away those That's not enough biscuits. milk for everyone. <laughs> I'm a socialist. Do you have enough milk for all of us? Yeah. Do you have enough milk for the proletariat? <laughs> I do know politics, you fuck. <laughs> proletariat. All right. You, you read Marx in college. Congratulations. Who's Marx? <laughs> Is he on the list? <laughs> you know, Mar Marxy Marx and the Funky Bunch. But no, look, I don't know who needs to hear this, but women are not your political tools. Okay. There is one thing, and one thing only, that you should say to a woman if you like her breasts. And that is a wooga! And then walking away politely. 
Are you for the IRA or not? Yeah, Tiak Fader Law, baby. Yes. Crown of the fucking crown. Speaking I hope, of, I hope Queen Elizabeth is burning in hell. Speaking of, speaking of IRA, this show is in some trouble. Hey. <laughs> Show's <What>? going fine. <laughs> your, next, your next comic coming to the stage. Uh, she, I asked her if she had some jokes for tonight. She said no. So I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. Please give it up for Francesca Lynn, everyone. <laughs> and nice audience for the show. Who is, are, are you learning, are you learning your Gaelic right now, Gail? Yeah. Okay. He has to keep his streak going. I mean, that is, that is, that is fair. That is, I don't know. I was going to ask Monty what, what country Gaelic is from to see if he knew, but he went so serious. The Lucky Charms one. <laughs> yeah, that's close enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I heard before the show started that there were two cats in here and there there are two cats in here um there, people are like there's two cats in a stroller and i'm like love cats this is adorable it's not that weird for richmond what is surprising though and i think is amazing is the couple that owns the cats is black and i think that that really at first i was taken aback and now i am thinking you know this is progress this is progress because if once we start to be able to do all of the ridiculous nonsense that white people have been doing for a while, it means we've like really made it. So I salute you all. I salute you all. Oh God, I hate, I hate clapping. <laughs> That's like the worst thing ever. What are you guys doing? Um, oh, I'm all right. Kale, okay, how's the gala time? Are you, are you winning your streak? I just got five in a row. You know, you can, um, you can have, like, friend team-ups on it to do, like, friend quests. Yeah, I always let my half down because I only do one lesson a day. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm, my, I'm learning my French right now. My friend Andoslin goes one of those psychopaths who does, like, ten lessons a day. Listen, some you of us... You if you're learning a language. Listen, some of us have the summer off because we're teachers. We're bored. <laughs> Trying to do this. I don't know. Don't woo that. That's not good. I should be doing more with my life. Um... Comment from the crowd. Instead of clapping, please hiss like a cat. Oh my god, please hiss like a cat. Or no, the, the, that freak like, out the cat. I don't know. You, you chose to bring the cat to a brewery. They get what they get. <laughs> it's fine. I'm, they seem very well behaved. Uh, Is that what Gaelic sounds like? Yes. Boom and that. Yeah, say something in Gaelic. Is Mathlum na beer? Translated that. Have you ever been swallowed up? Yeah. Irish is very crass. I know that. Yeah, I know that well. They drink okay. a lot. Liam it on Walkton. Don't put that evil on me, Kale. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Liam, I should do drinks on Walkton. Maybe. Hmm. This is. I don't know. I've, I've. I've long. I'm like dead inside, so this is like fun for me no matter what. Dido. That's great. 
Falcon. Now, Tleidori. I don't know. At least I'm learning. Fagia. Yeah, so we've already covered that Kamala Harris is most likely getting the Democratic nomination for president, right? And we're, uh, you guys are laugh. excited? What? Nobody laugh? Oh my god. Oh, this is the same, oh, this is the same guy that yelled rape out. This, like, January 6th looking motherfucker that yelled out rape, like, just, like, questionable search engine looking guy. Um, yeah. He's got a VPN. I, yeah, no, I love no. him. Don't, yeah, don't keep harassing us all. I might get turned on. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Duolingo. I can't listen right now. Oh my god. Oh, no, wait, we'll, we'll wait. Anyways. One minute remaining. Good. I've had enough. <laughs> no, Kamala Harris is the nominee, and um, I'm already dreading it. I went through, I already like had to suffer through one season of like black girl magic with her. I can't, I can't do this again with all the white people being this excited. It's too much. Um, like, it gave me too much power. Like, I rock climb now, guys. I have no business doing that. I have too many encouraging friends. The last time I did it, I like got off the wall and I, I lowered myself immediately all the way down to the ground where I was laying horizontal. My friend stood over me and she was like, oh, Francesca, I think you just like need some more electrolytes. And I said, I just think I need more black friends. Cause we were like on the ground and fine this whole time. Okay, I'm done, that's enough. <laughs> How was she? Ellie? Good? I feel like that was mid. <laughs> Alright, she feels like that was mid. Yeah. You, you, what do you what do you think? I, yeah. Good job, girl. Yeah. Hell yeah. I like them, but <laughs> so <laughs> Alright. Your next element coming to the stage. Uh, I think he's outside, so if he doesn't come <laughs> down, we're kicking him off the show. Prashant! Cool. Cut it! Your next comment coming to the stage. Oh, he's here. He's ready. Uh, he's a very funny comic. I'm always happy to see him. Please give it up for last. Hamlin, everyone. Yeah. Don't talk about the Marjo. Sometimes you want to slow the vice versa. You want to slice a nice first car and then on the first drop. Got it. Your next comment coming to the stage. <laughs> he's sitting over there. He's ready. I see him. Please give it up for the hat man himself. Abedin and Bakuwalu! Don't talk about the Marjo. Sometimes you want to sometimes you want to slow the vice versa. You want to slice a nice first car, hit it on the first trial, then the, the worst guy to spot hot tracks, like spot a pin, fat ass, and shots. How's everyone doing? Yeah. Woo! Good. Give it up for these two guys for running this for three years. Give it up for Francesca, right? Did I yeah. right? Francesca? Yeah. Francesca, all right. Woo. All right, now that all the pleasantries are on, I can start. <laughs> all right. Uh, my first joke is obviously Trump's assassination. Say, <laughs> 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 uh, I'm not a, I don't do political jokes, especially on Trump. <laughs> Because I just got my citizenship last year, so I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Comment from the crowd, this man is a GTA NPC. I follow him around for 15 minutes. <laughs> Abedin leaned over and said, what's a GTA? They never know when they're in the Matrix. It's, a gr it's Grand Theft Auto. It's a video game. Oh. A video game is a thing you play on like your TV or computer. <laughs> I'm not a video game guy, so... Alright, where was I so Trump? Okay. Uh, I don't do jokes on him, but see, there's one thing, it was very interesting, which I saw. Alright. Somebody fired him, I mean fired at him. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be crazy if you assassinate a president by being like, you're fired, and then they like, blow up. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine all the issues we could solve. I feel like I can't interrupt him. Like as the daughter of like two immigrants and like a half brown person, I'm like, I can't interrupt him. <laughs> Why the abuse? Yeah, we're just, I don't know, we're just 
more well mannered. <laughs> Abedin's from St. Louis. <laughs> no, he's Canadian. Yeah, he was in the he was in Nelly's St. Lunatics. Yeah. <laughs> Next to Peter This is Pop. Nelly's band aid now. Do you feel old yet? <laughs> Monty liked it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm from Virginia, so okay. Yeah. Okay, but one thing interesting which I saw is that as soon as he was fired at. <laughs> He, he, he was profusely, he was bleeding, right? But the very first three words that came out from his mouth was fight, fight, fight. I thought it was pop. I thought, uh, it, was, exactly. I thought it was really horny. <laughs> I thought he was like, fuck, ow, fuck, fuck, my ear. <laughs> Dude, the, what an unexpected event to happen today. <laughs> I should have wore a beanie. <laughs> That's what my... That's where's my, my umbrella? Ella, Ella, hey. Oh, maybe where's my ear? Can you somebody... If only I was wearing a fedora, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> you raise a toupee. It's stylish yet practical. All right, moving on to the next joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We all know that uh, inflation has gone off the roof. Right. If you guys are rich, you don't care, but for, for me, it's really gone off the roof. And I have a friend, I have a friend, and he also wears a fedora. I know, I know. <laughs> All of my friends wear a fedora, so. so he, They're called a flock. <laughs> An annoyance. An annoyance of men. An annoyance of fedoras. <laughs> They're flying south for the Jason Baraz concert. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! What was that? Okay, this friend of mine, uh, his wife is giving birth to a fourth kid, kid all right? I'm sorry. His wife is giving birth to a fourth kid. A fourth kid. Okay. So I was, I had a chat with him, like, what's going on, dude? Like, I mean, it's so expensive to bring up kids and all. So he gave What a dick move. Are you having a fourth kid? How are you going to afford it? <laughs> this is a bad idea. You're going to be in poverty. One minute remaining. All right. Uh, Your kid's going to live in a fedora. <laughs> Comment from the crowd. I think he's technically wearing a trilby right now. I made the same point a few weeks ago. Uh, that is a trilby, not a fedora. Yeah, you are right. You are right. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I am vindicated. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Is that a trilby? It is. Yeah, it is. Fedoras are round all the way around. Trilby's have the slope in the front. Ah, yes. Oh, exactly. I was on Newgrounds in 2006. Don't worry, I know. <laughs> no, I think. All right, well, let me finish my jokes. <laughs> he, he said that, you know what? He gave me a stupid reason. He said, in my religion, we're not supposed to use contraception. Mm -hmm. Right? So I, I know. I said, I Sounds said. Sounds like a cop out. Look, I'm not a religious person, but I don't know what religion you all talk about. I said, if your religion doesn't allow you to use contraception, doesn't it allow you to use your brains? <laughs> <laughs> like head, hell yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> God said, you can't give me them cheeks, suck my booty. <laughs> Leviticus 9.12. And on the ninth day, God said, come. <laughs> Please. Tibidus 14.9. <laughs> Yeah, do you know about Tibidus? No, man, explain me. Uh, Tibidus did! <laughs> we could never air this. You guys realize this. We oh, this is way worse than We're getting all 17 views. Yeah. <laughs> I got 30 seconds, so. Yes, we're oh, wait, wait, hold on, wait. If you don't know about Tibidus, do you know about Ligma? Oh, no. <laughs> what is it really? What, what, what is it? Is he making fun of the comedian? Alright, <laughs> 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 am, am I out of time now? Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 before we got all this, let's put all fun. Alright, wait, I have to ask you one last question. It's the last question of the night. Oh no. Are you ready? Alright. I know this guy, he's a historical figure, he's so popular, his name's Sugma. 
<laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not a deep nose suck button. <laughs> Please tell me, deep nose suck button. <laughs> you don't know what suck How'd you not know what both of these are? You know both of them? <laughs> Even if you don't know this, there is a pattern. <laughs> it's childish. We're acting childish. We really need to grow up. Abby, any closing thoughts? Oh, that, that's what I think I lost my thoughts. <laughs> oh, and it's. Oh, I'll do one last joke. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, before you go, uh, I just want to give a shout out to Updog. Do you know who Updog is? That's not how you said that one, no. up. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. You don't say it. Yes, go ahead, one more two. Abbott, anyway, how do you do it? How do you do it? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm having fun. Hold on, wait, I just want to talk about Updog, dude. I just want to talk about Updog. I don't know who Updog is. Is it a human or is it? No, 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 no. It's more of an object. <laughs> it's more of an object, so you wouldn't say who is Updog. That's why you need a different form that's of a why question. That's why you can't set it up like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but yeah, Updog. So what is an Updog? Oh, then what's up, dog? <laughs> that I got. You're supposed meetings. to say not much. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Abedin, please wrap it up. You're you can tell Monty them. was on the receiving end of those in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I did think you know, know, wait, all right, before you go, I just want to do an experiment. Did you know that if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer? <laughs> oh. Do you want to check? No. <laughs> <laughs> but what if you have cancer? Don't you think you should know? No. <laughs> It's I, very important. I know where this is going because I'm a, I'm a father of a kid. <laughs> and I've done all these jokes. It's like, hey, Monty, you want to pull my finger? <laughs> no. That's gross. <laughs> it's not hot. All right. One, one last joke. One last joke. One last joke. And this is an intelligent one, so I want to do it. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's let's, let's, let's go. Pilot. Okay, let's see. Comment from the crowd. Ask him if he likes dragons. Dragons. <laughs> dragons. <laughs> dragons. <laughs> oh yeah, guys. Fuck yeah. That's so cool. Okay. Any more comments? Okay. All right. One last joke. Uh, if you guys know uh, the. Bill Gates and his wife got divorced after 25 years, right? It was a long time. So I was wondering why it took them so long. The only thing I could think of is that this Microsoft chief and his wife were just looking for a window of opportunity. Uh, <laughs> God, that's so cool. Y'all having fun out there? Yeah. We only got a couple comments left. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. Your next comment coming to the stage. I caught him up earlier. He didn't come up, but I hope he's here now. Please get up for Prashant, everyone. Woo! All right, Prashant. Prashant, there he is. Prashant, everyone. Stop, I missed that one. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. What's up, Basic City? Boners are hard, <laughs> right? They're especially hard when you don't want them. Why is that? Guys, and chicks with dicks. Whenever, what? Whenever you are just having a day, just walking around, having a day, and then you get a boner out of nowhere, and you're like, what is this for? 
What's your penis for? No, the boner. The boner. So your boner is a penis. I know, but why is it hard now? Why is it hard? Okay, so it circulates into... I know, but I'm not aroused. You're not aroused. Okay, so that means there's a circulatory issue going on, and you should probably get a massage, something to like get the blood flowing. It's flowing, but no, I don't want it right now. You don't want it right now. Have you tried getting floss and tying it around? I think a lot of men go through this thing. It's not just me. That, that having a peener that explodes. That's just hard. When you don't want it to be. If you have a hard tick right now, make some noise! That's right. Gross. Prove my point. Going back to the joke. Alright, so, uh, where was I? Hey, fun fact, do you guys know hot dick is a name in India? <laughs> Please, tell it me is. more. Please, tell, I want to know so much more. It is a uh, hard dick. It is a name in India. I can vouch for that. Yeah. So, there's, I, heard of, I heard about this one, I heard about this one name that's really hard to spell. It's called I Cup. <laughs> you want to try spelling it? No. Uh, Try it, try it, try it. I want to go back to my joke. No, 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 real quick, spelling me. Come on. I'm not falling for that. Spell I cup. I don't understand most of the time what you guys said. So I'm not falling for that. That's right. Fuck you, monkey. Dicks. Oh, shit. Say it. No. Not happening. Rashawn, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? What do you think I'm doing right now? All right, hard dicks. <laughs> like what? You know? Do you want? Do you want me to spell it? What? <laughs> no, it starts with an I, actually. Do you know why? Sorry, wrong person behind you. Do you know why? Why is it hard when you don't want it to be? My yeah. I, I don't know. Okay. Come, so moving on. Comment from the crowd. This is like a stand-up routine at the 8th grade talent show. <laughs> Comment from the crowd. I just love to see Abedin smile. I love him. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Back to me. <laughs> I forgot my bed. Moving on. So the other day I was just scrolling through my phone on Instagram and out of, out of nowhere it just popped up alive. And there was this lady with a gun in her hand. Yeah. And she just fired it in the air and said, Keep playing with me, bitch! Keep playing with me! Keep playing with me, bitch! Keep playing with me! Keep playing with me, bitch! Keep playing with me! Uh-huh. And this was inside a room. And her boyfriend was on the bed, sitting over here. How do you know they're a boyfriend and girlfriend? <laughs> Men and women are allowed to have platonic relationships, Prashant. So her boyfriend was on the bed, and was like, fuck, fuck. She has a gun, fuck. And she was like, keep playing with me, bitch. Keep playing with me. And then she minutes, turned the phone eight. to the dude, and was like, say something! Wait, say something! Was she a ghost? Why is she talking say like something. that? <laughs> say something! She's just, is she the Count from Sesame Street? <laughs> say something! She goes, say something one more time! One, two! It's like those ads on websites in 2010. Say something, what? Okay, nobody was on the internet 10 years ago, whatever. So the dude was like, alright, uh, I, I, I am playing with you. I, 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 I am playing with you. She was I, like, I, spell I, I cup, bitch! <laughs> spell I cup! <laughs> I. Uh-huh. <laughs> Damn it. Give it. See? Yeah? You.
Ruben Gray. Bonnie. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you so much, Ruben Gray. Give it up for Sean, everyone! I cut! I cut! I cut! Okay. Uh, we have like two more comics left. Your next comic coming to the stage. I haven't seen him in a while. I'm so happy to see him now. Please give a very warm welcome to Big Scotty Moore. <laughs> Are you all ready for your final comic of the night, everyone? We can do better. Of the show. Last last week he, he tried to fight me immediately after the show ended, and I haven't talked to him since. So let's see how this goes. Please give it up for Damien Anderson! <laughs> That did happen, but I don't know these niggas, that's why that happened. And he lied, because I'm just a lonely guy just trying to have a conversation with everyone. How you doing that? Don't the Marco. From the bottom. <laughs> from the bottom of my heart, I do apologize, man. I'm sorry. But but let's get to the real. Let's get to the real. No, we're not doing that. Graces. <laughs> But the, get to the real meat of the bones here, guys. The real meat Meats? of the bones. Ah, yes. What kind of meat is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, you know. That real meat. That what you got. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. I said, you know, that real meat. Which is, if you say chicken, is racist. Oh, I did have chicken today, so yeah, you're right. So here we go. <laughs> All right, anyway, guys, I can't wait for my, I can't wait for my future biracial law school student daughter to bring home her white twink of a fiance home, <laughs> so I could look him in the eyes and call him a moon cricket. Now, now, uh -huh. I know, I know what you think. I know you think. I know you think my spouse in this situation is a white woman because we have a biracial daughter. But really, it's another black man. We adopted, yeah, yeah that's, it, that's it. Thank you guys, thank you guys. I only wish my Haitian grandmother understood the same, you know? Fucking conservative ass. Either way, guys. I hate you like I'm young. She does. Speaking of, why, speaking of why she hates me, speaking of why she hates me, so, I'm, a, I'm very proud of my little cousin. That nigga, he's going to the Marines. You know what I mean? He just graduated high school. Very bubbly, great, positive-minded guy. I love him. I hate him like I'm young. I'm proud, no, I'm proud of him, I'm proud of him. But that nigga, he's going to the Marines. He's a meat stretcher. You know, he's going, I need y'all to understand, I'm very worried about the state of the military right now because they let him into the Marines and he doesn't know how to drive. I, I don't, to me, like, he doesn't know, he's failed the test multiple times. Don't the Marines swim? Isn't that their thing? <laughs> I thought they flew planes. I thought that was a, You got dog tax, one of the Marines, too. Yeah, nigga, what? <laughs> These are from the Navy. Yeah, don't y'all swim, too? Yeah, we do, SEALs. Oh! Are you the swim? Are you a SEALs? No, I'm not. Alright, uh, <laughs> Big Scotty did, wasn't in the Navy. He worked at an old Navy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you bought that shirt for him? Fuck you. <laughs> I, just think, I just think it's very concerning. He's like, he he's learned. They're gonna give that nigga a gun that he carries every day, but he doesn't know how to drive. Like, I don't know. Why are we letting SpongeBob ass niggas into the fucking Marines? I don't know. This is me. I don't know. That's just that. For the bikini bottom of the barrel. <laughs> he's a very smart kid. He's a very smart kid. Leave him alone. He's a little, he's great. He'll pass <laughs> one day. I don't know when that day will be, but hopefully, who knows? Comment from the crowd. Does Damien have patches of all the beautiful places he has visited on his jacket? <laughs> <laughs> I stole this. I, don't know. I stole it. I don't know. 
Typical. Did you say typical Scott? <laughs> <laughs> he is a corrections officer. Oh yeah. You are up. Yeah, dude. He's, gonna be, he's gonna be Kamala Harris's VP. <laughs> Kamala this penis in your mouth. Hair up pink 2024. <laughs> I'll see you at the magistrate. Uh wait, I, Scotty, are you gonna vote for Kamala? No. One no. remaining. Kamala this come on you. Yeah, just stop, just stop, just stop, just stop. Stop Joe Biden time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I, I don't want to have to pull out my Donald Trump card. Put it back, put it back. Anyways, guys, <laughs> I'm just saying this. Fuck life. I don't know. Oh, I love that, I love that. Oh. Fuck life because... I've tried to commit suicide multiple times, and I feel like a Sims character that can't, don't know how to press the fucking pause button. You know what I mean? Because like, do it the first few times, niggas are like, "Oh man," or well, the first time, niggas are like, "Oh man," like people are telling me you don't have to do that or whatever. Then life sucks again, and yeah. then you try to do it again, and you try to do it again, and then you're like, "Oh, damn, maybe I'm just a fucking dumbass." Like, it, it is wild that you survive suicide because you are you're making it through this bombing right now. <laughs> Habitual wild stepper, Monty Giles, everybody. My name is Damien, and this has been my set. Tension. <laughs> Follow my, give it up for my best friend, Tyler Bauer. Follow me, this is my time. Give it up for my girls. Best friend, Monty Giles. Thank you so much for doing this every single week. We love you guys.